Before we conclude with the faculty toast and our closing blessing, we have a message for our class of 2021 from our Division I national champions, the Santa Clara women's soccer head coach, Jerry Smith, and some special friends. Hello, class of 2021. Congratulations to you. You've made it to the finish line of your undergraduate education. I'm honored to speak with you today at your virtual commencement. Congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. The skills honed here at Santa Clara University that helped you get to the finish line will serve you well going forward. Skills such as teamwork, communication, resourcefulness, conflict resolution, resiliency, determination, grit, and having a hard work ethic. These same skills are what won the day for the women's soccer team a little more than three weeks ago when we defeated five Power Five teams, four top 10 teams, as well as the number two seeded Carolina Tar Heels and the number one seeded Florida State Seminoles on our way to the national championship. Much of our experience in this past year has parallels to the real world you'll join when you leave Santa Clara. In sports, as in life, a lot will be thrown your way. And you can prepare, you can create plays, you can have plans and playbooks but will life go as planned? No, it rarely does. We all know from this past year, the one constant in life is change. Be ready for uncertainty. Think outside the box. Be resourceful. Collaborate. Be part of the solution. Continue to rely on your strength of character and your foundation of Jesuit education from Santa Clara University. What we went through this past 15 months with our team was by far the wildest, craziest, most unpredictable ride a team has ever had to endure on the way to a championship. There were at least a hundred completely valid reasons to bail out, give up, give in. Everyone would have understood. Heck, that's what most people would have done, but not the Broncos. Our team didn't do that. They persevered, they overcame, they stuck together, they grew stronger, they found a way. They refuse to lose. Quoting one of the greatest coaches of all time, Ted Lasso, they believed. The heart, the grit, their determination, and their belief won the day for us, for all of us. These are by far the most valuable lessons any of us can learn, and they're what you can take to your everyday lives going forward. Sure, our skill and athleticism helped us, no doubt, but it was our mentality that made the difference for us. We became stronger mentally throughout this journey. And here's the great news. We can all take those lessons learned in the future in different aspects of our lives and know that we can get through the most challenging situations. Not only are we Bronco teammates, but we're all teammates in the great game of life. I want you all to remember the most important thing about being a great player and a great teammate with your work teams, with your families, with your communities. It happens from the neck up. Your attitude and effort will win the day. Truly, that is something you can control. If you focus on what you can control and you don't stop believing, anything is possible even becoming the best team in the country. Annually, my team and I watch the same movie in our preseason. It's a great movie full of great life lessons. It's called Remember the Titans. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you do so. Also, as you leave Santa Clara University, I want you to remember another team. I want you to remember the Broncos because I can just about guarantee no team has had to overcome more adversity than we did on our way to winning the national championship. And the big bonus, as a member of the Bronco family, know that you will have passionate fans in your corner, just like we did. Friends and family who will love, support, and encourage you every step of the way. I can honestly say we would have not won the national championship without the love, support, and encouragement we received from you our wonderful Bronco family. Thank you. Well, 
Enough for the warm-up act. It's time for the headliners. I'm honored to share some remarks from our team leaders, your classmates, who did a magnificent job of handling everything the world could throw at us over the last 15 months. Again, congratulations to you, and go Broncos! So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the 2020 Women's Soccer National Champions, your Santa Clara Broncos. I mean, I think this school really prepared us well for times like this. Um, we, you know, had so many challenges along the way, but we dug deep and, you know, just reaching out to your community as well. Like, we had each other's backs. We couldn't, I couldn't have done this on my own. Um, I had my teammates and my friends and my family to support me and the whole school supporting me. And without that, I honestly don't think we could have, we could have done it. My personal proudest moment overall is just being a student athlete. Uh, not a lot of people get this opportunity and I feel extremely grateful that Santa Clara University has allowed me to be a student and play the sport I love. Um, there's a lot of challenges that go along with that. Um, time management, discipline, um, just balancing everything that life throws at you uh, while being a, a student and having a full-time job as an athlete. Personally, my proudest moment would be um, our team's win over BYU at BYU. In this past year, it is extremely difficult to win at their home field with the altitude and the snow, um, but this team really persevered and we came back and Julie scored a fantastic goal and I'll remember it forever. I'm just so proud to be a member of this class. We have so many amazing people and we have been connected for four years and as much as COVID was a situation that could have set us apart, it brought us even closer. And I'm so proud to have you guys cheering us on and to be one of your classmates. Congratulations, class of 2021!